she's just gonna grab a quick picture just because it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. As she's taking the direct route. Hi, we're gonna have you right there in that little warm spot. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna let those guys get a couple pictures and then I'm gonna move those flowers so you guys can hold hands. Good. All right, I'm gonna take these away now. I'm gonna hide these. I'm gonna set them on this rock right here. Now you guys can hold hands, so you can step. There you go. Pretend like you love each other or something. <laughs> you can move it if you'd like now. Now that he's got some pictures, yeah, you can. Perfect. It's fine. It's all good. We won't move, and then no one will notice. <laughs> Well, welcome. You guys ready? Yes. All right. So we're here today to participate and witness two people who found the love of their lives. I'm here to be part of your lifelong commitment to each other. Today's not the final destination. Today's the beginning of your incredible journey. This is the beginning of new shared experiences, memories, and future dreams. Today, you will not just be engaged, you'll be united in marriage and you've invited me and these wonderful photographers <laughs> to share this wonderful day with you. Today's a big day. So there's so much I can say about you two. What makes you so special? What makes your love unique? I could mention your shared appetite, how you love trying new foods together, how you love cooking. I could mention how you like to work out together or just work in general. You make great partners and you know how to keep each other motivated to meet your goals. I could talk about your cats, Scout and Ford. Those are great names. You love playing with them, just relaxing with them while you watch your favorite TV shows. Especially Love is Blind. <laughs> you balance each other out perfectly and every moment spent together is a moment well spent. There are a million things that make you extraordinary. A hundred sweet stories, a thousand inside jokes. I wish I could stand here all day describing the intricacies of your love to you, but to express exactly how perfect you are for each other. But I promise I won't. <laughs> but no one knows you better than you. You first met together taking physics in college. Ashley noticed Adam's talkative and outgoing nature and appreciated his confidence, even though he had an odd tendency or two, namely that he would eat boiled eggs in class with hot sauce. <laughs> You wondered, why would he eat boiled eggs? <laughs> a mysterious enigma. You just had to know more. And Adam, you remember Ashley's beauty and her shyness. You already knew that you had some things in common. You both were engineers after all, but you were especially intrigued when you realized you had the exact same birthday five years apart. It seemed like your friendship was meant to be. As you got to know each other better, you realized you had great chemistry. Adam, you began to see her sweet personality behind her quiet nature. You discovered that you could have more than passing conversations about homework. You could meet each other on a higher intellectual level. You knew how to have fun together, how to make each other smile and laugh, how to have deep conversations. There was something truly special blossoming between you. When you went out on your first date, you were beginning to get an inkling of what was certain today. You both had found the one. I asked Ashley, what qualities do you love the most about Adam? And she said, I love his dedication and commitment to our family and to being the best man he can be. I love his humor, even though he isn't quite as funny as me. <laughs> and that he always laughed. We always laugh together through life's ups and downs. I love the excitement and happiness I see in his eyes when we talk about the future. I know he's my teammate and partner. I can trust to stand with me through it all. 
I asked Adams what quality he, Adam, what qualities he loved the most about Ashley, and he said, I love Ashley for her ability to love and care so sincerely. Every day she shows me how I should strive to love those I care about. A poem on your wedding day. In you are flowers and firelight, stars and songbirds, the scent of summer, the stillness just before dawn. I love you today, dressed in glory. I will love you always, dancing, singing, reading, making, planning, arguing. I will love you cantankerous and tired, courageous and in terror, joyful, fearful, and triumphant. I will love you through all weathers and all change, for all you are is precious to me, and every day I live with you and share your love is a gift to me. God's presence is here shining on you both, and it's God's presence that unites and serves as your source of strength. You want your marriage to be filled with joy and happiness, not just today, but forever. Commitment to your marriage values is the strength. And I asked you what the most important values you want your marriage to stand for. You said commitment, teamwork, and trust. Those are perfect. Your marriage values will always unite you together as one. These values will ensure your continued commitment, your continued laughter, and your continued joy. To put your marriage values into a one sentence promise, it would be this. We promise to have unwavering faith in each other, to act faithfully, and to always remember that we are stronger together than we are apart. That promise is to each other. There are a few more secrets to a happy, wonderful marriage. Focus on each other's strengths, love constantly, keep doing fun things together, and honor each other's dreams. Continue to laugh together, celebrate your wins, be generous with your praise, appreciate each other, and continue to shine. And now for the highlight of the ceremony, you'll each share your vows. Tissue, not a car key. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you got this. I feel like I've known you were gonna be here since I first met you. You loved me when it would have been easier to leave me. You believed in me before I believed in myself. You stood by my side when the world pulled us apart. You have done more to help me through life than is capable of fitting on, the pa on all the pages in the world. Ashley, I will never be able to thank you enough for seeing past my faults and teaching me how to love. I love you because of the way you love others. I love the way you work so hard for us when it's not easy. I love you for loving Ford and Baby. <laughs> I love you for putting up with me when I am cranky in the morning on road trips. <laughs> I may always fall short in loving you the way you deserve but I will spend a lifetime striving to love as perfectly as you love. I fell for you fast. I fell for you hard. I fell for you because of your selflessness and because of your instincts for caring. Every moment has meant a lifetime to me. No one knows the future, but I know my future is with you. Today I swear my loyalty, my devotion, and my unwavering commitment to be your partner, the partner you deserve. I will love you forever. No matter what life throws at us, I will fight for you. I promise to love you when life is hard. I promise to always help with the babies and put Forge Jam Jams on. I promise to always work for the best future possible. I promise to always prioritize us. I promise to always love you I promise to always love you when you talk through movies and shows. <laughs> so as time passes and as we grow old, I will be by your side through this adventure that is life. You are my friend. You are my lover. You are my family forever and always. <laughs> Uh, 
Adam, I wrote multiple iterations of this and it still won't fully capture the depth of love, respect, and inspiration I find in you every day. Five years ago, we were still getting to know each other and trying to survive physics one and calculus while also trying to figure out our next trajectory in life. Since then, through the many challenges, victories, pivots, and all else, we have been a united front and a team. The foundation we've built, the level of trust and commitment we find in, in each other, and the actionable plans we make for our future together are my safety and security from the stresses of life. <laughs> Thank you for every snacky snack you have brought me when I was hangry. <laughs> For always listening to my random invention ideas, even though you know I'll forget about it in a day. <laughs> and for accepting my extreme love for kittens. More so, thank you for supporting and loving me throughout all phases. As your wife, I vow to love you through all phases, support you through your decisions, and be your peace for, from the world. I also vow to tell you when you smell, <laughs> to help you reach your protein goals and to not tell you when you have food in your teeth. <laughs> Happy birthday. I love you. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. So Adam, please repeat after me. I, Adam, take you, Ashley. I, Adam, take you, Ashley. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For all time. For all time. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Ashley, please repeat after me. I, Ashley, take you, Adam. I, Ashley, take you, Adam. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For all time. For all time. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Would you like to hold hands? <laughs> You ready? Adam, do you take Ashley to be your wonderful wife? Absolutely, yes, yes. <laughs> Ashley, yes. do you take Adam to be your wonderful husband? I do. Mm. We're about to exchange the rings, but before we do that, what is the wedding ring? Why are these rings so symbolic? The wedding ring is the symbol of your promise to each other. The wedding ring is the symbol of your vows to each other. When you look at your rings, you will always be reminded that you're surrounded by never ending Enduring love. Take her left hand, rotate your shoulders towards the photographers. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, please take her left hand, repeat after me. Ashley, I give you this ring. Ashley, I give you this ring. As a promise of my love. As a promise of my love. I am always with you. I am always with you. Today and forever. Today and forever. You can slide that on and make sure you have it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Please take his left hand and repeat after me. Adam, I give you this ring. Adam, I give you this ring. As a promise of my love. As a promise of my love. I am always with you. I am always with you. Today and forever. Today and forever. This is and is going to be one of the best days of your life. Take a moment to look at your rings, look at each other, look at this beautiful nature surrounding us. Just take this moment in. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful unity today. We ask that you bless this couple, their family, now and forever. May we shine your love we ask that you continue to bring this couple joy, strength, and encouragement. May they continue to enjoy their beautiful new life together. Amen. Amen. Through thick and thin, ups and downs, through the joy of your commitment today, Adam, Ashley, I now pronounce the two of you husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. Woo! Woo!
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <ow. laughs> you guys are awesome. Let's go. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Just because Adam can't remember extra dates, is that what we're going for that here? That is. That's it. <laughs>